सो हाई फ्रेंड्स गुड इवनिंग वेलकम टू एस क्यू एल मास्टर यूट्यूब चैनल सो आई एम मंजू हेयर एंड आई वेलकम यू ऑल फॉर माई यूट्यूब चैनल सो टूडे इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू शेयर विद यू अबाउट डिराइव टेबल्स इन एस क्यू एल और एकल सो वाई यू हैव टू यूज डिराइव टेबल्स इन एस क्यू एल और एकल और वॉट इज द पर्पज ऑफ डिराइव टेबल्स सो वॉट इज द नीड ऑफ यूजिंग डिराइव टेबल्स इन एस क्यू एल सो टू नो दैट Uh, be with me till last end of the video so before starting the video if you not subscribe to my channel kindly subscribe to sql master youtube channel to get more videos like this so if you subscribe to my channel i will get motivation and to make more videos here so uh, before starting to the uh, query example i will show you two slides what i made first i explain you concept then we move to the query example so where i can show you how technically we have to use derived tables so let us move to the slides here what i made so this is what the thing derived tables concept so then what is derived table so derived tables are sub query which nested in from clause this is a technique in which you can generate temporary result set under memory and that result set you can use in outer query using derived table you can divide complex query in small parts the scope of derived derived table only up to outer query beyond outer query we can't use so this is what basically derived tables are sub queries which is nested in from clause so this technique basically used to generate temporary result set under memory and that result set uh, we can use in outer query okay so this is what the main concept here to use derived tables so moving to second slide why we need to use derived tables then so whenever we divide complex query into small parts and to pass this uh, or outer query it is used okay so this is what the concept here basic concept uh, query here so i created here four tables okay you can see here educations department and cities and employee so i created here four tables i will show you one by one what all the tables contain here i just pin this result set so you can understand properly so then execute second table so and also i pick this and the next third one so okay this is containing this content and then finally employee table so this is what containing this these contents okay then uh, i write the query here you just observe so i just paste it here but you have to write for practice purpose okay so this is what the query here okay some what it is complex using joins so i explain these joins using derived table how you can use derived table uh, here so this is what the thing here select the emp id from employee table first name last name salary and from education table e dot education id and then dp dot dpt name so from this one okay this table dpt name and cty dot ct underscore name from this table okay this column so then from employee emp inner join educations dot e so i am using i am joining this table with this here what the condition here on emp dot edu id this one emp dot edu id is equal to education underscore id so this one okay then inner join dpt s dp table on what is the condition here emp dot dpt id so this is what emp dot dpt id is equal to dp dot dpt id so that is department table so dp dot dpt id this one okay then inner join cities table we have to join next on what condition emp dot ct underscore id this column and is equal to ct dot cty dot ct underscore id so this is what the column here so then if i execute this you can see here so i am getting these data okay so then so to re represent this we have one more way so we i can create here view create view name is vm demo s okay so i created this and if you execute this one so it will create a view here so you can just 
press control enter and it will get create a v vm demo 1 so just execute this one so next the vm demo 1 is created v is created and simply by using all these query i can hide this okay i hide this uh, the complex query and just by using select star from vm demo 1 I can retrieve the whatever data I have in table by using all these complex joins instead of these I just I created one view and by accessing that view extracting that view I just uh, extracted all these data so this is what the another way and if you want to use derived table here you can just replace this select star from and sub query goes here okay so you can use here open parenthesis and just here you can use here okay now you can select and execute this so you are getting the same output here also so what it means by writing this query complex query this becomes inner query now okay this becomes inner query and then this is what the outer query okay so i just uh, given here select star from open parenthesis and this all thing become inner query here up to here okay so this is what the thing here uh, like uh, this we have to use derived tables okay in sql oracle so the main purpose of this is to pass the inner query execution to outer queries okay so this is what we have to create uh, the derived tables like this and we have to use view also to by view, creating view and selecting we just hiding the complex query and just by view we can extract all the data and we can extract all the data like by using derived tables also so i hope friends you understood this concept here with the query example so if you have any doubts here you can comment me in comment box okay so i will be try to solve those queries okay whatever the problems you have and uh, i will be with you in my next video with some more complex queries so till that bye bye have a nice day take care thank you